Hey guys, welcome back to Pro Row 784. I'm here with Brandon, and it is, uh, let's see, it's Wednesday night before the Hoosier race up in Indiana. So I uh, just wanted to catch you guys up. Uh, Brandon and I just got done doing tires, and uh, this is the set of tires. Where'd that set there come from, Brandon? That was, that was Tiger Run, I guess. Tiger Run. That was Tiger Run. Those tires there come off Tiger Run, and we just put some tires on there and broke actually a couple bolts. Um, the next time we do these, we're going to put new bolts in there again. But, uh, Brandon, I know you've got to run because you've got to take those tires and wheels. We are flying to Indiana on Friday morning. Sure. Uh, so uh, we're not able to take the tires and wheels uh, that you'll be racing in the Hoosier. So you're taking up there. Some friends of ours are driving up from Florida, and they will be taking them. But I uh, just wanted to catch up with you just a few minutes. But uh been a long three weeks. Yeah, it's been a very long three weeks. Uh, actually... Uh, there was actually two Mideast uh, on both weekends we were off, and uh, I took the first one off, and uh, we ran the, the next one this last past weekend. We were in that Mideast, and uh, it was a it was a four mile track, and I think eleven minute lap times, and uh, definitely got rough. I think we ended up doing like ten or eleven laps or something crazy, um, but definitely a good time, good seat time, felt good going up there. Um, obviously went up there to test and. That's what we did and really, really liked how the bike handled. Um, so obviously those set of shocks are going on. The race bike for this weekend, um, we're just trying to figure some stuff out. Obviously we can make improvements um, and we really did this past weekend. The bike was turning really good for me. Everything was running good and that was on the bike that we actually blew up in Georgia. Um, it got a transplant and a brand new motor in it and James and Santo and all of them. I mean, bike ran flawless. So, um, besides that, I've been doing the same thing I've been doing ever since round one. So, I mean, been working out and been eating right. I mean, been training some kids. Yep, yeah, been training kids, been riding a little bit more. Um, just trying to do it all. Yeah, Brand Brandon's actually started a, a, a training deal. So, if you guys are, um, I don't know yep. if you want me to tell them that or not, but anyway, uh, but Brandon is yep. uh, full time training people now. So, if you guys want to be trained or or want some lessons from Brandon on a four by four or his YFZ. He's got his YFZ over there. Uh, he can he can do that too. So uh, I've been teaching kids the past two days now. So yeah, I'm trying to get into that. Um, it's gonna be busy doing that too. So obviously it gives me the luxury of teaching people and also giving me the luxury of uh, being able to ride and all that kind of stuff. Be able to get my seat time in that I need and all that kind of fun stuff. And got some exciting stuff like maybe maybe summertime, late summertime. Yeah. Don't want to spill anything yet, but there's some stuff all coming right. up. Uh, we got the action off road camp coming up. Uh, yep. Brandon will probably more than likely we'll be probably there. Probably going to that one, yeah. And uh, but there may be some stuff brewing that we, that we can do down in this area yep. uh, for our local riders and uh, any any rider that wants to come. But uh, anyway, oh, yeah. but uh, yeah. So uh, that the race this past weekend at uh, Mid East, uh, me and Mom didn't go, but we were here. And uh, Brandon must have ran really well. He's not going to tell you, but he did. Uh, him and John Galata had a really good race together. And uh, I think it was, uh, what was it, 10 or 11 laps in? I think it's 10 or 11. 10 or 11 laps. He, he won't say it, but I will. So, so him and John Galata was pretty much the class. Uh, Walt Raven was there for a little bit. He had some issues there early on and dropped off the pace a little bit. But uh, him and Galata was bumper to bumper. And uh, this is Galata Jr. at uh, your XC1 Pro. And uh, they had a blast racing together, uh, you know, uh, tight trees, uh, short loop. And uh, Brandon, uh, in fact, uh, he's got some pictures on his phone where uh, he, has, he has tore up some Kaiser rings uh, from the dang trees. So, it was so tight. The track was so crazy tight. They, they, he's got pictures on his phone where James sitting where they're actually wrinkled up and turned up and uh so anyway got to replace those but uh yeah. all right so brandon i just wanted to catch up with you so you're ready for uh the hoosier yep all good to go i mean you like that place uh, <laughs> i okay. say i like it uh you I, ran I really, good there i really like the fast flowy stuff but it just seems like that place doesn't like me all that well, much. well we haven't had very good luck so we go speak. there twice and i've only been on the podium once the past right. four <laughs> times i've been there so <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't been very lucky for me, but I mean, I, I really do like the place. I love the fields. I love just being wide open. I mean, I just love it. Yeah. Uh, the track flow is normally pretty good. Depends on how they chop it up, but it's normally a really fun track. So. And you'll be back on the Renegade, the brand new Renegade. Yep. It's got five hours on it or something like that. But 
um, you know, I'll go back. So, so, so you, you ran the quad at Mid East this past weekend. That's the one that you blew up in Georgia, yep. and y'all tried the first time I have rode that fuller since, since you Georgia. blew it up. Yep. Yeah. So what happened was is uh, Brandon raced a brand new Can Am Renegade uh, the for the first time in in Tiger Run with a set of shocks that he really liked. Then they went. Then we went to Camp Coker, yep. which was real sandy and whooped out and everything. So they Same tried a yeah, yeah, they tried some different shocks that, yeah, it was okay, but it wasn't the end-all, be-all. Yeah. So then they went back to the setup that, that yeah, Brandon that really liked. Run, and made a few changes to that. And, made it and really run. liked it. So uh, that's the setup that he's running this weekend on the new Renegade. Yeah. So anyway. All right, so I'm going to let you get out of here, Brandon. I know you got to get going. He's got to take some stuff, and then um, we, i got to get in, and uh, we got to get ready to get on the airplane tomorrow so uh I'm excited to see all you guys and uh a couple of you guys that reached out to me greg um a couple of you guys reached out to me you guys come up and see me okay i want to run up with you i'm not sure where we're going to be at some of our folks are going to be uh around pro row area four by four pro row so we'll be hanging out there quite a bit on the can-am renegade pro row and uh certainly he'd be hanging around derisi racing so uh you guys come around and, and make sure you find me uh if you can't find me make sure that you message me on facebook or whatever but i give some of you guys my cell phone number so you guys can reach out to me there too so uh i just look forward to seeing some of you guys and uh zach we're coming to your place uh i seem to see zach and his uh beautiful daughter every time we come up there and i want to see you too and your young girl so um i'm sure she's getting big and uh but uh anyway look forward to seeing you guys and uh excited to talk to you about how your race is going and that kind of stuff and uh i'll share some ideas about what we got going here you know what i mean so uh been just been busy brandon's been training been riding a lot and uh been training little kids and that kind of stuff and a few adults too so uh he's getting into the swing of things and and trying to uh make it a go so all right as always guys i appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you next time i'll see y'all